Hi guys, uh, my name's Sam and I'm here to show you the uh, calculations uh, that are similar to what's in your uh, dogging assessment. So grab a pen and a calculator and let's work together through these calculations. So first question is, the load is to be lifted using flexible steel wire rope. It's a direct lift. The weight of the load is 2,500 kilos and it's evenly distributed between the lifting points. So you can see here, this is the FSWR, flexible steel wire rope. There's two uh, slings there. So we need to find out what uh, the uh, minimum is required for each of those. Um, so what size slings are needed to safely for load? So first out, let's first up, let's work out um, the weight that each sling is required. So 2,500 divided by two equals 12,000, uh, 1,250. So 2,500 divided by two equals 1,250 kilograms. All right, cool. So obviously you then need to go down to the sling charts and find the sling sizes. So if we look down here. Uh, we've got direct load there. So direct load means straight up and down. None of these other ones look like that there. So direct loaded, 1,250 kilograms each. So what we do is we go down this here. Uh, 1,250 kilograms is 1.25 tonnes. We go down here and we can see there's one there, 1.23. But we need to go the next one up, which is uh, 1.47. Uh, and then the size that we need is 13 millimeter slings. Okay. Thirteen millimeter slings required. All right. Next one down. A rigid box is to be lifted. Uh, it's got lifting lugs there, so it's a direct load. The maximum included angle of the two diagonally opposite legs is 90 degrees. So the ones that are furthest apart are 90 degrees. Using the sling tag, what is the maximum load that can be lifted? So let's have a bit of a closer look there. Uh, if we go down here, we can see that uh, 90 degrees is there, the middle one. And it is a straight lift. It's not reeved. So that is directly loaded on there. So the... Uh, size that we require is 2.8 tons so um, what can it lift that's what it's asking what uh, is the maximum load that could be lifted there uh, it's 2.8 tons in that configuration that's what the sling tag is telling us all right let's keep going down a uh, set of two leg chain slings is used to wrap a load. The chain is choked like that. The included angle is 60 degrees. That's the included angle up there. The weight of the pipe is 206 kilograms per lineal meter, and the length of the pipe is 11 meters. What's the total weight of the pipe? So put that in red. So we need to uh, 206 in bold. 206 kilograms multiplied by 11 equals 206 times 11 equals 2,266 kilograms. All right, good. Using the sling chart below, what is the minimum diameter of the chain slings to re chain slings required to safely lift the load? So that's 2.26 tons there and it is in a choking uh, configuration. So let's go down here. Where is the only choke there? That's the only one on this side here. These are not applicable. So if we go up there, that looks like that one there. This is where people make a few mistakes here. So 2.26 tons is above two ton and below 2.6. So what is the minimum diameter size rope that we require? Eight millimeters. Now let's have a look. Again, just to be sure, uh, between 2 and 2.6, because we go up to the larger chain size, which is 8 millimeter chain. All right, that's what we need. 8 millimeter chain 
is required to lift this. Moving down to the next one, um, a pair of synthetic slings is used to lift a steel beam, or steel pipe. The included angle is 60 degrees. The weight of the pipe is 86 kilograms per lineal meter. The length of pipe is 7.5. What is the total weight of the pipe? All right, let's go up here and we'll put in red. All right, total weight of the pipe, 86. Multiplied by 7.5 equals 86 multiplied by 7.5 equals 645 kilos. And the minimum sling size that the shit should be is we're going down to this one here. Um, the minimum uh, sling size that should be used, right? Eh? So that is configured like this, all right? So it's choked and it's at a 60 degree angle. So the question's asking, what is the minimum size sling that should be used? So you obviously need two slings. So we're gonna need to go along here. The, one, the angle factor, once you actually put this on this pipe, it derates it to 1.3. So if this was a one ton sling and a one ton sling, um, because you're opening them up and you're choking them, it'd only be good to lift a 1.3 ton load. However, the question is asking, what is the minimum size sling that should be used? Um, so the sling size should be, if you go along over here, we need, uh, one ton slings, yeah? So the answer to this question is, I'll just put that in bold, red, one ton, one ton slings are required. Yes, we need two of them, but when you answer this uh, in your exam, you need to find out in it's will be choked and, and at an angle you need to find out what that choke is and the the angle factor there but you go down here and whatever you're rounding it up to you need to go across to this side and pick it off this one here because it's a violet one ton sling yes you need two of them but uh, that's what the question is asking all right next we've got a hollow pipe uh, with the following dimensions so We've got this uh, laid out here for us. The, um, the equation is laid out here for us. How do we work this out? So we've got a, a hollow pipe. We need to find out the, the middle um, weight of that. So uh, estimate the total weight of the pipe and round up to the nearest ton. Okay. So the hollow pipe, I'm going to put that in bold and we're going to put it in red. Okay, so the equation is like this, 0.79 times the outside diameter, which is 2.5, times the outside diameter, which is 2.5, uh, times the length, which is 4.1, equals, let's work it out, 0.79 times 2.5 times 2.5 times 4.1 equals 20.243 20.243 we don't round it up we don't round it down um, i'm not going to get into discussions about rounding up and rounding down people do it differently all over the world we're trying to come to a, a, a standard answer here and i don't want anyone to round up or round down we just cut it off. So go to three decimal places and cut off the last two. 0.79, we're going to work out the inside diameter now. So 0 0.79 times uh, inside diameter, 2.3 times 2.3 times 4.1 equals. So a lot of people ask why you do the 0.79. So 0.79 is quarter pi. Um, it's just an easier way to remember. Um, it's an easier number to remember than pi. And also um, it cuts down a little bit of the working out. So 
it's just an easier way to do it. Um, I treat maths like a, making a, a recipe. You don't really have to understand every part of it, but um, you just have to know the ingredients to put in there. All right, 20.243 minus 17.134 equals. So that's what we do there. We minus that one from that one. Uh, and that is our answer there. So X minus Y, that's uh, X at the top. Y is the second one. X minus Y, 20.243 minus 17.134 equals 3.109. And we multiply that by the material. So that is 2400. And that will give us the answer of equals 7,461.6. Now we round that up to the nearest whole ton. The whole ton is, it's eight ton, isn't it? It's asking the nearest whole ton. So round up to eight ton. Okay, um, and that is the uh, pipe done. Now, when you're doing these mathematics, uh, you go back at the end and you check them all because uh, this is where people make mistakes is they don't check their answers. Uh, uh, this one is a special for that. Um, I often get people doing their exams uh, and that have to come back the following week because they have managed to uh, mess up their exams. So by doing simple, silly mistakes, by not reading the question and not checking it. Okay, so we've got a shipping container here. It's asking us what the weight of the consignment load is, uh, the consignment note. So what's the total weight here? Um, we've got the shipping container there, 3,950 kilos. 3,950 kilos is the shipping container. We've got the universal beam, so we work that out by going 5 times 135 times 9 equals 5 times 135 times 9 equals 6,075 kilograms. Next one, 16 timber beams, 9 kilos per lineal meter. 5.4 meters so we do this 16 times 9 times 5.4 equals 16 by 9 by 5.4 16 by 9 by 5.4 equals 777.6 kilograms Last one is the steel plate. This is one that let people love to leave out. They leave the width out or they try and add the width in somewhere else. If you lay it out like I do here, you'll have no problems. Three steel plates times 166 times five times 0.5 equals. Write that out. Three times 166. Uh, times 5 times 0.5 equals 245 kilograms. Then what we've got to do is add them all up. So uh, 1245 plus 777.6 plus 6075 plus 3950 equals. So the total of the lot equals Total weight equals 12,047.6 kilograms. All right, so check it and check it again when you do that question. You're just adding the container weight and, and these uh, different things in the uh, that are loaded and on the consignment note. Okay, so this one here is a large L-shaped box to be lifted. So this one looks complex, but it's not that hard really the slings are 12 millimeter 80 grade with non-derating shortness so nothing's derated when we use the shortness so when we're 
configuring this, some of these might have to be shortened up because um, it's obviously higher on that side. Due to the position and uh, distribution of the load, blah, 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 the two of the slings must be shortened. Yep, that's what I've just said. So these two must be shortened. The result is one of the slings being 45 degrees from the vertical and the other 90 degrees from the vertical. Oh, sorry, 30 degrees from the vertical. So from the vertical means that way there, we have to, um, so from the vertical means down one side, yeah. So from the vertical there to one side is 45 degrees and the other side is 45 degrees and it would be the two that are diagonally opposite, like it's the largest one. So to get the max, the included angle, the maximum included angle, we need to double these. So you times them by two because that will give us a whole angle there. So 45 degrees becomes 90. And the 30 degrees, uh, we times that by two, that becomes 60. So 45 times two equals 90 degrees. And then let's just pull that one back up actually. And then 30 degrees multiplied by two equals 60 degrees. So basically what we're doing is finding out which one's the, the biggest because the biggest one gives us the maximum duration. So with 13 millimeter slings, what is the maximum allowable weight of the box? 13 millimeters. We've got a direct load. They're not choked, all right? So don't go to these choked basket slings down here. We've got um, 90 degrees here. We go down and we're looking for 13 millimeter uh, slings, yeah? 13 millimeters on a 90 degree means that we can lift uh, 7.5 tons. Oops, just put in there, control B. Seven, uh, I'll make it red. 7.5 tons. All right, cool. So 13 millimeter slings, 90 degree included angle. And we go down to 7.5 because 13 millimeters on a straight uh, lift there meets us there, 7.5. If the load weighs 2,850 kilograms, can I use an eight mil chain to lift the right load? So let's go across here and we've got uh, 90 degrees and then 2,850 is slightly more than 2.8 tons, which is 2,800 kilograms, isn't it? So if the load weighs 2,850 kilograms, can I use eight mil chain? No, exceeds capacity, exceeds capacity. All right, and then we will highlight that, okay, put in red. So that's um, basically it, the exam questions um, that we're going to do. Uh, they're very similar to your um, national assessment instrument, which is uh, all over Australia. If you practice these a few times and check your answers, all right, that means go over them again and check the whole lot again. You'll have no problem doing this exam. All right, uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, adios amigos, I'll uh, see you for the next video.